Sure. And there's one more. The delivery robots, yeah. they, in order to get some data as they're moving right. on, they need to use cameras. Right. But in Korea, right. if you use cameras, it's... Privacy issues. Yeah, so that's the issues that are coming up. So it's like, they need to use cameras in order to develop the robot delivery ser service systems, but then they have this privacy issue. So. This is obviously a, a very big issue in not only Korea, but especially in places like Europe, Western oh. Europe, where privacy is, they have very strict privacy rules um, versus say like China, where there is no privacy, which there's an advantage there, but that's another conversation. Yeah. There are solutions to work around this. Mm -hmm. One would be things like uh, synthetic data, which is growing more popular, where it's kind of a virtual environment with existing data. Um, so you can basically go around the privacy issue with synthetic, um, synthetic data, synthetic reality. Uh, the other is using different types of sensors, um, you know, beyond the camera, such oh. things as lidars or um, different types of radars. Mm -hmm. So there are there are there are many different ways to to address the privacy issue. So I don't I don't oh. believe it's going to be insurmountable. I think that's a challenge, a task that can be um, oh, overcome. Could be a lidar radar. They could they're uh, they're already used in the cars. Correct. Yeah. And in smart cities, so yeah. they don't you know like show the person. There's there so there are ways around that. Oh. But the public, you know, of course, the public has its pub concern. Views and Rightfully concerns. so. Rightfully yeah. so. So we'd like to ask you about robot investments in big companies, mm -hmm. how they're investing in. Speaking specifically of, of Korean, uh, Hanguk Jebo, um, all the major Korean conglomerates are, are rapidly building up their robotics capabilities. Yeah, they are like Samsung, Honda, Hyundai. Yes, LG. yes, um, Doosan. Yeah. Um, so the evolution that's taking place is rapid um, and it's, it, it's accelerating thanks to, well, I think it's Korea's robust technological infrastructure, mm -hmm. which kind of facilitates the growth. It's a kind of natural ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So in terms of sheer robotics power, for a, concre for a Korean conglomerate, I, I would have to say that Hyundai is by far and away the leader um, now, thanks mm -hmm. to its, its endeavors across nearly the full spectrum of robotics. Because you're working in there? <laughs> You know, I, I should have put a caveat <laughs> there. <laughs> running, <laughs> running the risk of sounding like self-promotion. <laughs> yeah. um, no, and, and, and there's I a know, reason. I'm just kidding. No, no I, cause that, that, that comes up like, I, you know, it's kind of weird. But, um, and the, the reason, yeah. EU, there's a reason, um, it runs across the full spectrum of robotics, right? Mm -hmm. So from autonomous vehicles, mm -hmm to things like the Boston Dynamics acquisition, to autonomous ships, mm -hmm. um, to industrial robots. So really the company, its, it's focus on robotics has basically vaulted it to become a, a leader mm -hmm. um, in, in global robotics, yeah. um, which happened obviously very, I would say in the last five years. Um, five years? Wow. Yes. That's a really short period of time. Well, um, the, the chairman, um, he's, he's very, very interested in robotics. Oh. And as I mentioned at CES, that was, you know, just kind of the focus, like we're doing it with it's metaverse and robotics. I also think that Doosan and LG are also very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and, have, and as they have novel approaches to the robotics business, um, Doosan in particular, I think has a great cobot or collaborative, collaborative robot line. Oh. Um, and it's, it's gaining market share globally um, pretty quickly. Um, in addition, it has something called its Concept X construction project, which are mm -hmm. autonomous construction vehicles. That's also very interesting. Um, Samsung, while like while most people would immediately say, "Okay, well, you know, Samsung, obviously." Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to disagree with that. Oh, um, really? Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> they have a great team. They do interesting work, but oh. but their approach, um, while it's promising and very interesting. Uh, they focus a, quite a bit on home robots, oh. which I believe, in terms of an investment, mm -hmm. that's going to be a long, a long trip, long slog before it's a, oh. a practical business. But that's my view. That's that's something interesting. Yeah, I saw a published. I saw your report that you published, mm -hmm. and it's divided into three parts: so construction, space, and service. Mm -hmm. So we would like to know a little 
glimpse into what your report is talking about. Mm. Um, as mentioned earlier, the broadest way to segment robotics mm -hmm. overall is, is into industrial and service. However, um, in doing so, um, it is somewhat misleading. Mm -hmm. um, so there's just so much cross-pollination and encroachment mm -hmm. in robotics. In many ways, we can compare robotics to music, where music, you know, there's often difficulty in defining what a genre is. Is it, is it jazz yeah. or, is it, or is it a little bit of this? So in robotics, we see a lot of, um, there's, a, there's a lot of parallels between, uh, well, not just robotics, but many disciplines in, in oh. music. So, um, but for the sake of analysis, we group robotics into what I like to think of as key industries mm -hmm. or industries of interest. So speaking about construction robotics, they specifically serve the construction industry. Oh. So in their tasks can range from BIM to bricklaying to 3D printing, mm -hmm. autonomous mobile robots, exoskeletons, and, and much more. When f referring to space robots, mm -hmm. um, oh, well, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, it is. Um, I'm specifically referring to those robots yeah. which operate outside of the Earth's atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So what this means is it's not the robots that are being used to build, say, spacecraft on Earth, like mm -hmm. for SpaceX, but those which operate with satellites, mm -hmm. interplanetary missions, or on other bodies such as those um, like Mars, or on asteroids, um, anything that's not on the Earth. Mm -hmm. Service robots, by the broadest definition, mm -hmm. encompasses categories that are non-industrial, mm -hmm. as I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Um, think about the robots working in healthcare facilities, mm -hmm. like the ones de delivering supplies in hospitals, mm -hmm. or robots delivering food to customers, Others include, but are not limited to, like professional cleaning robots, yeah. like the ones you see in the malls or in the airport, um, customer service robots, mm -hmm. like in the cinema, um, which are essentially intelligent mobile kiosks. Mm -hmm. But the list of service robots goes on and on. So, um, yeah. So, the growth of K defense companies are becoming more and more important especially because of the Ukraine issue and stuff. Mm -hmm. So do you think that will be the same with the Korean company's defense robots? Yeah, so you're correct. So last year, the value of Korea's arms exports mm -hmm. exceeded imports for the first time ever. Yeah, it did. And leading the way was, um, it's not an intelligent machine, but Kanwa's K, uh, K9 Thunder Howitzer, um, which is the world's best-selling self-propelled artillery weapon. Mm -hmm. so at present, while Korean defense companies are enjoying growing exports, mm -hmm. the defense robot business is still in its nascency, and ha but has massive potential upside. Mm -hmm. And this includes both ground-based robots, Air. aerial robots or drones, yeah. um, where there is considerable progress in their development, which mm -hmm. I believe will translate into export growth um, mm -hmm. going forward. Um, as, as these companies start to roll out more roboticized products. Mm -hmm. The key, however, is yeah. autonomy, um, oh. as this will enable the creation of highly competitive mm -hmm. and cost-effective systems, which should easily disrupt offerings by uh, companies in countries such as Turkey, mm -hmm. which you've probably seen in the news has um, been very successful with their low-cost um, Bayraktar TB2 drone, yeah. um, selling lots of them and using lots in mm -hmm. Ukraine. Um, but yeah, this is not only with the current conglomerates, but also I think there's a lot of opportunities for the promising startups in Korea as well. It's time to hear your pick. So what's the most promising sector in robots? Right. Um, so I think professional service robots are likely to see the most growth over the, over the mm. next decade. Um, with that said, companies that make the robots, as well as the key components that are critical for those robots to function um, autonomously, mm -hmm. will be will be good investment areas. Uh, for aerial robots or drones, mm -hmm. um, I think th the area of swarm is going to see the most growth. Um, there's tremendous interest in in swarm um, aerial robots. Mm -hmm. so, okay. so swarm would be like um, like bugs; they fly bugs? in swarms. Locus. Oh. So swarm technology is the big thing in robotics, um, ground robots and aerial robots. So imagine uh, one drone, uh, or robot, whatever, uh -huh. that goes and it's mapping 
like the field or looking yeah. for forest fires or rescue. Uh -huh. When you can fly a hundred smaller ones that are cheaper and they can and collect wow. data and act as one unit, you can, uh, you can accomplish a lot more in, in less time. So Swarm is, mm. is really a, a, probably the fastest growing um, area of interest in, in aerial robotics globally. It's efficient and cost effective. Right? Efficient and cost effective. And in, on, in the, on the defense side, in militaries, every military in the world is chasing um, this technology oh. now. That's kind of scary. War is if scary. you think it that way, yeah. Right. Maybe we should develop it and protect ourselves. <laughs> right. That might be most, much more safer. I think we should all just stop fighting. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> so robot-related stocks have risen a lot recently despite the low stocks. So maybe many people might think because like robots are coming a keyword in every places, if everyone is focusing on robot, then it becomes, it's a bit kind of too late to go in and buy the stocks. Hmm. So in your point of view, do you think that it's okay to dig into and buy the stocks now or maybe a bit later? That depends on the individual investor. Uh -huh. um, however, my my view, yes, yeah, your um, view. My view is um, that's true. Mm -hmm. What you what you mentioned, that, and that's true for some companies. Mm -hmm. However, th the recent market corrections um, have caused the stock prices of some really great robotics companies mm -hmm. to plummet. Um, mm -hmm. Offhand, mm -hmm. I think the following companies are are promising or attractive at mm -hmm. current price levels. Um, on the more speculative end, um, I do like a company called Berkshire Gray oh. um, because of one, it has a large patent portfolio, I think of 300 patents um, uh -huh. in AI and robotics technologies. Yeah. Two, um, it has a really attractive RAS business model, which mm -hmm. is robot as a service. Mm -hmm. And three, um, it has a fast growing partnership network in the US and globally which includes uh, a recently announced one with a company called Swiss Log. Oh. Um, and they benefit directly from a booming e-commerce. Mm -hmm. for, for navigation, which mm -hmm. of course is critical for outdoor robots, or indoor robots as well, I think um, Trimble is a very promising stock. Oh. Um, and the reason why I like Trimble is, well, one, the company's solutions are behind mm -hmm. most of the world's outdoor mobile robots, mm -hmm. and two, the company's strengths can be seen in, in multiple areas. Mm -hmm. uh, revenue growth, largely a, a largely solid financial position with reasonable debt levels, um, and of course, expanding profit margins and a, a notable return on equity. Trimble. 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 I'm going to know. <laughs> Bim <Bim-wam. laughs> <laughs> Trimble. <laughs> that's, that's the safe one. <laughs> oh, this is a safe one. You get the answer. And yeah, many people don't notice it because it's behind the scenes, ah. but everyone uses their technology. <laughs> just think, oh, it's a GPS company. Oh. No. <laughs> they have a lot of potential. Yeah. And I think the third one that I would I like is mm -hmm. a company called Teradyne. And um, T-E-R, mm -hmm. um, it's you are or universal cobots mm -hmm. are the world's most popular cobot. And they're used across a wide range of businesses and research organizations. Oh. You could think of it as like the kind of like the Microsoft of collaborative robots. It's oh. become a standard. Um, it's mm -hmm. mobile industrial robot business. Um, MIR mm -hmm. is a, an AMR autonomous mobile robot maker. And it's, it's very much the same for mobile robots. Again, it's becoming standard. Mm -hmm. And of course, Teradyne owns several other businesses in robotics. Mm -hmm. And when they couple that with its core business in the semiconductor uh, equipment, mm -hmm. Changbi business, um, there are some really great synergies between the robotics and the semiconductor um, business. Also another, the safe ones. <laughs> <laughs> this is a safe one as this well? This is a safe one. Okay. 두 번째, 세 번째, 다 안정적인 종목. 두 번째, 세 번째. 어떤 게더 안정적이에요? Uh, solid financials. Oh. strong financially, uh, growing business, great technology. Oh. Um, and companies have been 20, 30 years. So oh. they're very, in, and they're growing. They're, so you get, it's like a growth company with the safety of a, an established company. So you oh. get the best of both. The third one. The third, yes. Berkshire Gray is a cheap stock. 
oh. with great technology, but that's the one that you can maybe debug. <laughs> maybe. Debug, <laughs> 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 maybe. <laughs> maybe. Debug, <laughs> 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 yes, that's a new. For Korean companies, mm -hmm. um, I like. I like Hyundai and Doosan, oh. um, the former because of its focus on robotics and mobility. Mm -hmm. um, the addition of Boston Dynamics mm -hmm. will accelerate its growth into a major robotics powerhouse. Um, Doosan is interesting, but it remains to be seen as they do face considerable competition globally oh. um, from very well entrenched companies with great technology. But, I, but they, they are promising companies. I think this is all the questions that we were going to ask you. <laughs> and there's I have more? one more question. <laughs> Wait, there's more. <laughs> one more question for me. I saw in an interview, I saw your interview, it was 2018. And the host was asking you, do you have an interest in other sectors as well that you would like to specialize in? And that time your answer was no that you wanted to just specialize in robots because it's an interesting sector. So four years have passed in 2002. Is your answer the same? Nothing's changed. Oh. Um, as I mentioned earlier is, I mean, obviously there's, there's many interesting fields mm -hmm. that one can study, but you know, there's, there's time versus what you can do. Oh, yeah. um, and as I mentioned earlier, the robotics sector um, is vast mm -hmm. um, and it, it just continues to grow and it encompasses so many different disciplines mm -hmm. that it's enough to keep someone busy for well, lifetimes. Mm -hmm. um, specifically, uh, more interestingly, is where AI, and I call it the quiet revolution, mm -hmm. and I'll be publishing a report, um, where AI and robotics come into play and is creating a new type of, obviously with autonomy, intelligent mm -hmm. robots that can be, that can carry out their tasks mm -hmm. independent of humans in the loop. Mm -hmm. um, so. Mm, no, the answer is no, no. Um, because there's just so much. The field just keeps growing, and it's, it's yeah, it's infinitely interesting. I'm gonna say one more thing. Blockchain is interesting, but where it ties into robotics. Oh, blockchain. So, yeah, but it, again, it's it's tying into robotics now. Oh, so so you may have an interest in blockchain as well. When it when it's related to robotics, <laughs> okay. and it is, but that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe next time you can tell us more about that. Absolutely, I'd be delighted to. This was all for the interview. Thank you for right. answering all the questions and spending your time. Can you speak Bay Gyeongde? Mm. Fighting, Studio Don Don Fighting. Okay? And then we're going to finish off. <laughs> okay. Really? <laughs> yeah. May Young Day Fighting, Studio, fighting. Studio Don Don, Don Fighting. fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you. It was a long Thank you. story. <laughs>